Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another G.I. Joe action figure review. In this episode, we're taking a look at the G.I. Joe Club.com exclusive figure subscription service Wave 8. This is figure 13, the mystery figure. And this is Bonsai from the Ninja Force. So the way this uh, kind of worked with the uh, figure subscription service is that you... Uh, subscribe for the year and you get 12 figures and they throw in a bonus 13th mystery figure which they typically did not announce until it was actually shipping uh, and that's what this figure is right here is that mystery figure the 13th figure the 13th warrior as you might want to think about it <laughs> and it for this one it's uh, one of the ones that we needed to complete our ninja force team so uh, very cool I honestly don't know a whole lot about this particular character, so I won't be able to say much about it uh, other than it was a one of the last figures in the original vintage line from the Ninja Force. So, yeah, so I would have put it 92, 93, somewhere in there. Uh, so, yeah, anyways, it does come on a traditional um, 25th anniversary style packaging. Nice, cool artwork on the side there. Cool little bubble here. Flipping it over to the back side, we've got the enlarged character art there and the file card. So uh, if you want to, you can pause it right here and read through the file card a little bit. Very cool. And if any of y'all out there uh, know a little bit more about the history of Bonsai as a character, feel free to drop that in the comment section. I know I will appreciate it and our viewers will as well, so yes. But we are going to tear into this thing and uh, take it out of its packaging. So let's get to that handy dandy exacto knife here. Probably need to sharpen it before too long, but uh, it still works. <laughs> so slicey, 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 like that. Pop this guy out of his bubble. And we'll toss this to the side. I do like that artwork. That's really cool looking. Anyways, to the side that goes. Um, our battle stand is taped to the back side of this thing like we've uh, seen in a few of them from this particular wave. So let me throw this tape away before I get it all over me. Figure stand. We have some tape holding on a couple of these accessories. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, cut that off real quick make it easier on me to get this thing out hopefully these psi are always kind of small and aggravating here but uh, let's go ahead and pop those guys out we do get two of these new color coordinated size psi I always get that wrong two psi are still psi but I want to pluralize it with size. <laughs> Anyways, you get two of those. We get this uh, really cool um, axie thing here. Which is also color coordinated to go with his cool uh, magenta purple fuchsia color scheme thing here. We also get some cool, two cool swords and sheaths. So very nice looking. Uh, we'll zoom in here in just a moment to take a closer look at the accessories, so don't worry. We will get to that. Let's go ahead and pop this figure out. He's being aggravating and not wanting to come out, but that's a cool looking figure here. I like that guy. Toss the uh, packaging to the side, <clears throat> and let's uh, go ahead and reposition our camera here. Get a better look at everything and some slight adjustments here get back in frame so we can see it all and we should be good to go except uh, this thing's kind of moving on me stay right where you are come on camera work with me Perfect. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, let's dive into this thing here. So uh, figure stand first, so we can get that out of the way. 
uh, traditional 25th anniversary battle stand here. The raised G.I. Joe logo. We got two foot pegs on the top. Codename Banzai there on the side. 2007 copyright like about every single one of these we've seen. So very nice looking. Uh, let's grab this guy right here. This uh, crazy battle axe thing. Uh, it does come, again, color coordinated with the rest of his uh, clothing outfit. Some nice detail work here on the handle. Uh, beyond that, it's just kind of a single texture axe blade thing. So, yeah, I don't really know what you call this thing. So, if anybody out there is a martial arts expert uh, with weapons, let us know what this thing is called. Because I have no idea. It looks cool, though. Uh, let's see, Psy, tiny, tiny Psy, but very cool looking. We got some nice detail work in the handle there, and everything else is pretty much just tiny Psy. So, we've seen these in the past, they are still cool. I am digging them. But you get two of these in the set. There's the other one. Then we get these two swords in this cool sheath which uh, we've seen the sheath before in some other figures it does have some nice detail work in that so you can see like some of the rivets there and the back side has that little opening there the swords slide out and in actually rather easily you will occasionally notice that these things pop up so you may have to use your thumb to kind of make sure that that slides in on the track all the way but once it's in there, it's it's in there. It's not going to shake out or anything like that. Uh, the blades themselves, we get two of them. So one is, uh, I guess, what I would consider a traditional katana. The other one, um, wasabi. Was is that does that sound right to anybody out there? Anyways, we do get the uh, very cool kind of diamond tread in the actual hilt there with the. The hilt wrap and beyond that you've got this cool little groovy thing here and kind of a traditional sword there nothing crazy special I'm sure this is a specific type of sword but I don't really know exactly the name of it but uh, it's looks like a one-piece construction here with just they wrap the handle on it so that's a technically a full tang because the uh, it extends all the way through to the end of the hilt, but <clears throat> I don't know if that's exactly what they're calling it here in this particular world or not. We'll slide these things back into their places. And yes, there's your accessories. <clears throat> the figure itself here has some nice detail work. We have seen a lot of this, so it's kind of a reused figure here, but it still looks really cool, and I am really digging it. <clears throat> We do get a slightly new updated head sculpt here, which has a lot of really cool detail work built into it. You can see a cool little puff of hair there coming out the back end. Nice folds all the way around. Very cool looking. He got something crazy there on the front of his uh, head there with that wrap thing, but I don't know how that goes, but it looks really cool. Some non-removable throwing stars there, some non-removable uh, daggers here, some cool, just uh, in general, textures here on his web gear, nice silver buckles, do you have these attachment points here, flipping it around, you've got that there, these cool shoulder pad thingies, some really cool texture work there. Um, cool little gauntlets here and bracers. Nice gloves, pretty cool looking stuff on his uh, pants, so nice texture work there. Got some cool, nice kind of purplish highlights there on his knee pads. And some cool metal bits and bobs on his boots. So very nice looking, I am really liking the way this guy looks. And they've done a really good job with the uh, sculpting on the actual uh, skin here. So you can see all his like muscle tones and stuff like that. So it's a very nice job here. Articulation wise, the head spins 360 degrees. Plenty of up, well, 
a little bit of up and down motion. We do get just barely some side head tilt going on. Not too bad though. Uh, traditional ball and swivel at the shoulder joints. Ball and swivel. If we can get it to work here. A little sticky. But it's a ball and swivel at the uh, elbow joint there as well. We get a swivel only at the wrist. So no rocker on that one. Uh, standard chest twist here. His web gear does kind of slightly limit it left and right there. Do get some some ab crunch going on, but not really a whole lot there. It is a little limited there. Uh, traditional T-hook at the waist and hips. His uh, web gear here will kind of limit his mobility a little bit, but you can always pop these things off if you want to do a crazy karate kick frontwards or anything like that, but uh, still really nice. Double knee joints. Traditional swivel rocker thingy at the ankle joint so not bad articulation wise uh, it is a really cool looking figure really nice looking sculpt here let's go ahead and get him armored up here his backpack attaches you do have to line that up a little bit with the web gear and the back of the actual figure's torso then let's see his size can kind of stick through the side here and kind of attach like that and they actually stay in place which is uh, surprising to me for the most part they uh, that works really well and then he can grab this cool uh, axe blade thing here in his other hand so he can carry all of his accessories with him and look pretty cool doing it there so yeah I'm actually really digging this figure I'm gonna go ahead and give him one sigh uh, so yeah, that is Bonsai. It's a cool looking figure and I'm actually really impressed with it. Um, for one thing, I really like the color scheme here. The black, gray, and purple works really well. It's a really awesome sculpt, really cool accessories. So yeah, it's just a really cool figure here, especially for a mystery figure anyway. So I am digging it. Now that's all the time we've got for today, so thanks for watching. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to our channel. Drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think of this uh, 13th Warrior mystery figure from figure subscription service Wave 8, Bonsai. If you'd like to see anything in future episodes, drop that in the comment section as well. I'll do what I can to get it out in front of y'all. And until next time, Yojo!